crowned eagles are one of the biggest eagles in South Africa. They haven't got the longest wings, but they're probably the most powerful eagle. Uh, they've been known to take the biggest prey of any eagle in South Africa. And why I'm interested in them is because they live along the scarp and of the eastern province of Mpumalanga and they occur in forestry areas and also very little is known about them. Uh, fortunately at, the, at present uh, they're not threatened to a big ex extent in, in Mpumalanga, our province, but uh, throughout Africa their ranges have declined incredibly. Uh, they have just been declared a vulnerable species in South Africa so we are concerned about them, but our population fortunately is secure. But nevertheless, we're trying to determine the number of nests along the escarpment and also work out a strategy for conserving our population before it declines. Uh, we've got a number of big timber companies growing exotic plantations uh, along the escarpment where our highest rainfall is. The rainfall is about a thousand millimeters. So it's ideal for eucalyptus and also pine trees. And the eagles live, as I say, along the escarpment, largely in ravines and natural forest in the, in the plantations. But the plantations are providing food and prey uh, for these eagles. So they've got secure habitat in the ravines where they put their nests up, uh, but they are feeding quite to a large extent in the plantations, taking mostly uh, antelope, 70% of their diet of their pop of their prey are antelope, mostly small grey diker, red diker, but they'll even take prey up to the size of bushbuck, which is 20 to 30 kilograms. So they're pretty formidable uh, raptors. They also occur in the bush felt where there are large trees along drainage lines, and there they feed mostly on impala and in the mountainous areas, Klipspringer. Uh, fortunately, the farmers in these areas are, are pretty comfortable in having these eagles on their properties. And we have managed to speak to the landowners. They are conserving their nests and the, and the eagles. So all in all, it's a, a very happy story. The forest timber companies are looking after their eagles and very proud to have them. And so far, the landowners are also supporting the project and looking after their nests and offspring and stopping persecution. The biggest potential risk at the moment are what we call emerging farmers in, in South Africa, especially in our area where a lot of new farming enterprises are starting and they're starting to farm with goats because they're easy animals to, to grow, uh, but they're very easy prey for crowned eagles especially the lambs, and I suspect this is going to become more and more of a problem in the future.